Tonight at 11, the recent lake effect snow led to countless accidents and closures on Interstate 90. Those closures tied up valuable manpower and put emergency personnel at risk trying to stop traffic from getting on to 90. New York State has been using gates like the ones you see at railroad crossings for years now to shut down the thruway during snowstorms. So why isn't Pennsylvania doing the same? Matt Mathias spoke to the chief of the Northeast Fire Department. And Matt, this is something he has been pushing for. Right, Jen. Our neighboring states utilize gates at certain on-ramps to prevent drivers from entering closed interstates. But it's something that Pennsylvania has never done before. Local fire departments like the Northeast Fire Department have been struggling to recruit new members. Anytime there's a crash on a portion of Interstate 90 that runs through Northeast, volunteer firefighters and fire police respond. Oftentimes, manpower is used to divert traffic and shut down portions of 90. And we're trying to deal with the accidents and everything going on on the interstates and not to have to worry about other cars coming on or trucks coming on behind us. And we just don't want anybody to get hurt. After the recent lake effect snowstorm that led to Interstate 90 being shut down multiple times in multiple locations, Fire Chief David Meal says Pennsylvania needs to install gates like these here that are used throughout western New York. One person go up, pull the pin, drop the gate down, and then keep it closed until they're ready to reopen it. Instead of open it, you know, open it back up and then bringing more people out to close it again, um, it just you're taking a lot of personnel out that could be doing other emergencies. That Chief Meal says that he's reached out to PennDOT and several local lawmakers asking for these gates. So what is the state waiting for? Now PennDOT tells us that there is nothing like this in the state of Pennsylvania and they're still gathering information about what it would take to make these. It's really not been done in Pennsylvania. We're exploring it. We're looking into uh, what the requirements would be from the Federal Highway Administration as far as uh, how they're built, uh, you know, what kind of uh, reflectivity they have, signs and different things like that, whether they need to be lit or not. So we're investigating it, but we don't have any plans in the immediate future to, to build any. Now, Fire Chief David Meal says that he has spent some time working in New York and knows firsthand how much these gates could help keep first responders and motorists safe. Jen? Yeah, and those who have, of us who have lived in New York also know how they could keep everyone safe. All right, Matt Mathias live in our control room. Thank you.